Hello everyone, welcome to Great Online Training. This is Naidu. In this video, I will explain SAS Certified Specialist uh, Practice Question number 9. And I have already covered a few videos. I am attaching that uh, videos here of my previous one uh, in this course uh, here. And you can watch those all the videos uh, for the certification questions. And uh, if you are liking this particular question, so please subscribe to my channel. I am going to update uh, more videos and into the discussion. And uh, I'll bring uh, some of the new topics for the certification exam and all. So let's get started. In the given program, proc contains data equal to sas help dot class and varnum statement and run. So now we have written proc content generally we use uh, like a uh, for uh, to display the description portion of the data we can get it by using a proc contents. Uh. So here the question is related to which of the following statement is true for the varnum statement. So there are some questions at below and uh, some uh, statements at below and we need to uh, confirm which one is correct uh, according to the varnum statement. Varnum is used for keeping the variables. Do we really use a varnum statement here to keep the variables in your output? Varnum is used to display the variables in a creation order of data set. Is it the varnum statement is used to create the variables to display the order of the variable? And there is no use of a, a varnum in the program or else it may be throwing some syntax error or something like that we are expecting. There is no use of a varnum statement. Varnum is used to sort the only character variable. So out of these four answers, which answer is uh, correct? So now what we will do is I can simply answer this particular question directly which answer is right. But what I'll try to do is I'll try to explain what is a varnum statement uh, uh, with uh, a proper explanation and so that you can decide which answer is true you get to know. For that what we do is let me just copy the program you also do with me just take a pause of this particular video try to do the same with me and for that first copy the program and you paste it here. For a time being I will not write it anything to the what we do with the varnum statement. Without writing a varnum statement, we will try to select this particular piece of code. So that means proc contains data equal to sashelp.class and run. When I execute it, so it is just giving a output in output window. Can you just see that? Proc contents is just displaying the information in the output. So you just focus on mainly on this particular page. Alphabetic list of variables. Uh, are attributes so we are getting it right now. So this is the alphabetic list of uh, uh, variables and attributes. So it's just displaying by writing a proc content. So it will give the description portion of the data you are getting it how many columns we have it each column wise. The information is displaying it and age is the variable it is 3, 4, 1 and 2 and 5. Why you are getting in this particular order? Why you are getting as a number as a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and all? That number generally you will get it uh, once you open the data set uh, from the SAS help library class data set if you open it. Uh, let me just open CLA yes class data set I'm just opening it here now if you just see the class data set this is a way of variable creation in your data the first variable created in your data as name then followed by sex followed by age and followed by the height and then followed by the weight you are getting it so each and every variable what you have created you will get a order as same first name then followed by sex followed by the age and also name will be the one followed by the sex two age is 3 and height is 4 and weight is 5 you will get it that is the ordering of your variable so that's the reason why you are getting the number the first variable is name 2 is your sex and 3 is going to be age then followed by your height and weight you are getting it so this is the alphabetical list of variables you will get it by default if you don't want it in an alphabetical list of uh, values what we can generally write it as a varnum statement if you write a varnum what it will do is variables in a number wise it will be displayed right now alphabetical list of a variables it will be displayed by default if you write a varnum statement now you can see that same output you will get some difference as a 1 2 3 4 5 and all you will get it varnum statement is used to sorting the variables in a creation order However, you created in the data set, if you want to uh, sort the variables in order wise, you can get it. 
so according to your uh, PowerPoint presentation and you can see here and which answer is right varnum is used for keeping the variables that is not correct varnum is used to display the variables in a creation order of data set yes that's correct varnum is used to sort the data in a creation otherwise if you want to get it you can use it the right answer in this particular question is the b varnum is used to display the variables in a creation order wise you will get it so that's it that's all about your question number nine we just done so thank you for watching and if you like the video please like and subscribe to my channel and if you are interested for more videos and activate the bell icon for more updates thank you i'll meet you in the next video